Now let us see some examples of uh, opaque objects and transparent objects. So we can see that any metals, any metals or wood, rock, brick, right. So likewise we can make a total list. You yourself can make a table and collect some things, certain items in your house collect all the items and now check whether these objects are opaque or transparent. How can you check that Dave? See if you take the object into your hand, if you are able to see something else which is behind the object through that you can say that it is transparent. If you cannot see it is opaque. And one more interesting feature of this opaque object is that opaque objects they form shadows. So what are shadows? right shadows are very interesting part to learn because we enjoy shadows right sometimes we can make fun with shadows sometimes you are getting scared of shadows sometimes you see when you are walking in the dark if you see a shadow then you will be scared you may think that it's a shadow of a ghost Sometimes accidentally just by looking at your shadow you will get frightened. Suddenly you have entered into a room. So the light is coming from some other distance. So your shadow it fell on the wall just like a monster. You might get afraid, scared. Right? So how a shadow is formed? What is a shadow? See here, here I have a torch light. So this is the torch light. I am switched, I switched on this torch light and the light is focused like this. Here I have a cardboard fixed. So by the light it falls here. I can see the cardboard white in color. Now what I am doing is I am placing a circular board with a stand like this. I kept it here. So as the light is falling here, for the path of light there is a disturbance here, obstruction. This is the obstruction. It is obstructing the light. So here, Now you can see the shadow of this circular object what I have kept here, the shadow of this object falls here. The shadow is falling in the sense what is happening, the light is not falling here that is all. Shadow is nothing but the absence of light. The light is falling on the cardboard. In the earlier case when this was not there, the light was falling completely on the cardboard. Now the light is fa not falling in this area. Why it is not falling in this area? because the light it was obstructed by this object. So if you, if you obstruct the path of light by keeping any object then you will see the shadow on the other side. Shadow in the sense in that particular area there was no light. So that is the shadow. So there is a light in front of you, you stood there, light is falling on your body. If you just look back you can find your shadow. Right. So shadow is nothing but absence of light, where there is no light falling, that particular area is called as shadow. How can we recognize, we can see that outline, the shape, how we can see the outline, because here we can see the outline. Why? Because the light is falling on all this area, except this particular area, because it is obstructed by this object. So you keep the torch here, instead of this object you can keep your hands to form so many shapes, birds, animals, trees, rabbit, human, baby, so many shapes, right? Have you ever seen shadow puppetry? If you have not seen, just you can browse it in YouTube or internet, you can see the videos of shadow puppetry. That means they will make a beautiful story with the shadows. To form the shadows, they use the light and their hands. By keeping the hand in different positions, 
by using their fingers and hand positions they produce they cast the shadows of different animals and different figures so by that they will make a story that is called shadow puppetry we can enjoy a lot with the shadows so that is all happening because of the light and shadows right so now you understood what is a shadow so shadows are casted by opaque objects when an opaque object is kept in the path of light as it obstructs the path of light the light doesn't fall on one particular area so that area is considered as a shadow okay instead of an opaque object if you keep a translucent object what are the translucent objects water is trans translucent glass acrylic these are the trans transparent objects right so if you keep the transparent object either the water or glass or acrylic if you take any transparent object and put it here what happens can it cast a shadow no of course even though it may cast a shadow it will be very very light you can't see that because the light is passing through the transparent one is not objecting the light because the light is allowed to pass through it so it's not casting any shadow right only the opaque objects are able to cast the shadows you can do number of activities by taking a torch light you can see how the shadows are formed in your finger you can experiment if you keep the torch close to your hand how the shadow is formed what is the size of the shadow if you take the light away from your hand you will find the difference in the size of shadow formed and thickness of the shadow sometimes the shadows are very dark pitch dark sometimes the shadows are light okay so you change the angle of light torch light sometimes you keep it down sometimes you keep it up you see the how the shape of the shadow is affected how the size of the shadow is affected you can observe all this if you have a torch with you if you have a torch and a dark room you can experiment a lot with the shadows you can understand but here i have given you the idea of what is a shadow and how a shadow is formed if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus